Let us discuss this example. So in this example, we have a matrix space R2D. D is a Euclidean distance, which is defined as D of x, y is equal to square root of x1 minus y1 square plus x2 minus y2 square. If x1, y1 and x2, y2, these are two points, right? So see, they have given a set A, which is defined as x, y belongs to R2, such that y is not equal to 0. That means whose y coordinate is not equal to 0. We have to check whether this set is connected or disconnected. Let us discuss. What will I do? I will try to express this set in a better way so we can easily decide the set is connected or disconnected. So this is equal to xy belongs to R2. Okay. So y is not equal to 0. So you know that law of trichotomy says any real number either positive or negative or 0. So the one condition is removed here y is not equal to 0. That means either y is positive or y is negative. Let us write y is greater than 0 or y is less than 0. So this is equal to, so you know that or means union and means intersection. That means this set can be expressed as a union of two distinct sets. Let us write that. So xy belongs to R2 such that y is greater than 0 or that's why I'm writing union xy belongs to R2 such that y is less than 0. Get it? So I will draw the diagram so it is so we can easily decide what we have here. So this is x-axis and this one is y-axis. What we have y is not equal to 0. y is equal to 0 is equation of x-axis. y is not equal to 0. That means you can take any point in a plane other than point on the x-axis. So we have expressed it in this way. y is positive. That means first and second quadrant where y is positive. And y is negative. That means third and fourth quadrant where y is negative. That means this is, I will call it as set B. Union, I will call it as set C. So B is nothing but upper half of a plane. And C is nothing but lower half of a plane. Get it? So see, this x-axis is removed from the set. Otherwise, the entire plane we have. Get it? So what we get A is equal to B union C. Clearly, one thing we can write. B is not equal to phi. C is not equal to phi. Obviously, since B is nothing but upper half of a plane, many infinite elements are there. C also has infinite elements. So, these are non-empty sets. B intersection C is equal to phi, I will write. See, why we could write B intersection is equal to phi? Why these are disjoint sets? Since B contains upper half, C contains lower half. And the middle line, X axis, which is already removed. So, there is no point common between B and C. Okay? And the B and C are open sets. Okay, I am writing B and C are open sets. So see all these things oh, we have already done in previous semester. So that's why I will avoid to write every, each and everything. Get it? So see upper half of a plane. So this is an open set. How to prove any set is open? See you can take any arbitrary point. You can draw open ball around it. Okay. So this part already we have done. So if you take any point in B, definitely you can find a ball around B which entirely lies inside set B. So in this way we can say the upper half of a plane is open set, lower half of a plane is open set. So what is our conclusion? We could express A as a union of two non-empty proper sets, disjoint proper sets such that both sets are open. So by definition, equivalent definition of disconnected matrix space, we can say set A is disconnected. So let me write that thing. Therefore, A is disconnected. Okay, disconnected. So see, these are very really so much uh, important definition, equivalent definitions of equi uh, disconnected matrix space. So we have already discussed. So using that definition, we can say given set A is disconnected. You can make a screenshot of it. After that, we will go further. Let us discuss this example. So in this example, they have given a set P, which contains all elements of R2 such that whose X component is not equal to 6. So the same condition we can write it this way. So this is equal to, see the same technique I am going to use which we have already used for previous example. So that means x less than 6 or x is greater than 6. So or is there so we can express as a union of two sets in this way. So xy belongs to R2 such that x is less than 6 or means union we can write xy belongs to R2 such that x is greater than 6 okay 
So let us try to draw a diagram and let us try to understand the concept, geometrical meaning of it, okay, with the help of diagram. So this is x axis, this one is y axis, okay. So x is equal, x is not equal to 6, they have mentioned, but do you know the what is equation, what is, uh, the x is equal to 6, this is equation of what? It is a straight line, which is parallel to y axis, passes through x is equal to 6. That means x is equal to 6 is a line parallel to y axis, passes through x is equal to 6. Because of this line, the entire plane is divided in two parts. One uh, half part of plane lies in this side and half part of plane lies in that side. Ready? So the same thing we have. So the first set B, B, union C, I am calling it as B and calling it as C. So X less than 6 set B, that is nothing but the region, okay, the part of plane which lies in left hand side of this line and X is greater than 6, that means set C, this is a half part of plane which lies in right hand side of of a, that line x is equal to 6. Ready? So the same logic we can use. Here a is equal to b union c. b intersection c is equal to 5. Ready? Nothing is common there. Next, b and c both are non-empty sets. Right? And the last one, b and c are open sets. These are open sets. Getting So since if you take any point uh, in that set, it is possible to draw a ball around it which entirely lies inside a set. So therefore B and C both are open set. So we express A as a union of two non-empty proper disjoint open set. So therefore we can say A is disconnected. So what is our conclusion? Therefore A is disconnected. Okay. So this is the equivalent definition of disconnected set. Okay. So in this way we solve this example. So make a screenshot of it. Then we will stop. Thank you. Bye bye.